Hello friends, today I am going to draw a 3D model and extract 2D views from this. First of all, click on the front and now incline the UCS in the front plane. So click uh, type UCS enter and V enter. This will incline in the view. Now here this will show the X, Y axis. enter here you can see this x and y axis now make a circle click c enter for circle and give the center point and give the radius of 50 mm now click on the top to zoom fit and select this and move now make offset of 10 mm outside of the circle Click O enter for offset and give the dimension of 10 mm. Click on the circle and click outside. Here you can see now make a line from this point to this point. And now trim the unwanted by using TR double enter and the click on the lines which you uh, we don't want. Yeah, this is trimmed. Okay. Now make a line of um, 100 mm. L enter, click this point and give the dimension of 100 mm. Enter. And uh, now make a offset of 5 mm both sides. O enter, give 5 enter and click this line outside. Click this line and outside. Now here you can see the gap but to fill this. Click EXT to extend and click on the line to extend to the circle. We have trim the unwanted by using TR double enter. Now fill it. Give the radius of 10 mm and give the select the lines. Enter and select the lines. This is trimmed. Now make a rectangle of 100 by 10 mm. Here you can type REC enter 100 tab 10. This is done. Now um, move the rectangle. To this point here now trim this unwanted part tr double enter click this click this and again fill at this by using um, 10 mm radius click this line and this line enter click this line and this line now select the middle line and delete it you can make it reason by r e z reason to join the all entities in the uh, into one and now copy this to make a rib just type co enter or you can uh, click and now copy this and um, this is a reason so you can make it explode by typing x enter and click on the object here make a line now l enter now select the point uh, in point in this corner point and now make a line of uh, uh, more than this height so now click on the outside now move this line inside 10 mm click on the line m enter give the dimension of 10 mm enter now trim the unwanted using tr double enter and click the parts which we don't want here this is trimmed click here to trim this tr double enter and trim Now mirror this for both sides using MI enter and click. You can also copy this, uh, you can also um, complete one and uh, mirror that. There are the different methods to uh, draw here, just treat the uh, unwanted items. And now make it reason by using REC enter, select all and enter. This is reason part. Now we will extrude into 3D. Here, uh, click on the home button on the 3D. Uh, 
first of all we'll just move it near this and here you can see the uh, a little gap so just uh, control z and again i'm moving this m enter select this and click here and this gap is uh, not appear here now now you can click on the home or you can also um, click on the fill button and uh, drag your mouse to so it's 3d views now click on the extrude and give the dimension of 80 and give the dimension of 10 mm extrude click this extrude this move this in the uh, middle side so you can move here and give the dimension what you um, how much you want to move this is done oh, sorry this have the little gap little more gap so I will move it towards back side of the tenor. Now it's done. Now click on the home button. Here you can see this. And you can see in the 3D by using clicking on the first of all we will make a hole. So see enter snap the point and give the radius of 10 and now make the holes copy the hole this is moved by the 10 mm inside and 10 mm right side you have mirrored this click on the center and click here this is mirror now so again mirror this in the second side click on the middle and mirror this here you can see this is mirror now you can see the um, 3d uh, realistic view now you can press pull you can also type PREWS and enter and now select and just drag. Here you can see this is done. And now I will extract the 2D views from this. For that I will click on the uh, layout tab. Here this appears and I will increase this. corner also now click on the layout tab first of all this is not necessary but here click on the layout tab and now on the base and click on the model space and here your model will become will be here automatically and you can assign this uh, this is it's a side view front view this is a front view and this is a side view here you can drag your mouse and click and this is the top view click here and uh, this is an isometric view for this part click here and enter Now you can change the view from that uh, just uh, click on the part which you want to change the view just click here and uh, 
here you can select the view if you want to set it and here we can also assign the dimensions to them so first of all move it you can also move it now assign the dimension by uh, clicking on the annotative annotation and give the dimension click and you just get this you can change by using d enter for dimensional style and you can select for the arrow and the text text size align and you can make also the precision what you want I just select out my point only I a digit of a point and now you can see here almost clearly you can assign the dimensions what you want whenever it needed you just click on the points from here to here its thickness is 10 mm and this uh, width is um, 80 mm and its height is um, and this is also 170 mm which we have assigned it and this you can also show this is inside of 100 mm and this its width is 35 mm whatever you want you can also assign you can assign it uh, it's just uh, click on the points here you can also choose the uh, diameter for the uh, circles click on the circle and just assign it this is 10 mm and uh, double click on the dimension to make it here it's done you can see this